What's going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand spanking new video. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys so, so much for the love and support that you guys are bringing to the channel. At the time of recording this video, we are at 880 subscribers and climbing like you wouldn't believe. You guys are killing it with the likes and the comments and hitting the subscribe button and giving me the love and I absolutely love you guys for it. But let's get into today's video. And today's video is everything you need for your home bourbon bar. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you need for your home bourbon bar is glassware. Because if you don't have glassware, you don't have anything to put your bourbon in. So, you need three types of glasses, in my opinion, to start your bar. Glass number one is going to be the traditional rocks glass. This thing is perfection in a glass, literally. You have every possibility to do with this glass. You can pour neat, you can pour on the rocks, you can make your old fashions, you can make Manhattans. You can do absolutely every single drink in this glass. This glass right here is the jack of all trades, master of none in my opinion. This glass can do absolutely everything to its best potential, but it's not going to make it perfect. But let's get into glass number two that I think you guys need. Glass number two is going to be your traditional Glen Karen glass. This guy right here is perfect, perfect for sipping neat bourbons and whiskeys. You get the perfect nose, you get the perfect sip without burning your eyes, without burning your nose. You can get really in there. It's absolutely perfect. Traditionally made for scotches, but we brought it over here to the States for bourbons and whiskeys, and we adopted it to perfection, and we love everything whiskey in a Glen Karen. Let's move into glass number three that I think we all need on our home bourbon bar. Glass number three is going to be the coupe, and it's only for one, one type of drink, and that is going to be for the Manhattans. There are other drinks that you can definitely do in these, but us as bourbon and rye drinkers, we need the Manhattan, and we also need a coupe glass. Coupe glasses are used for many other things as well, but traditionally made for the Manhattans with the bourbons and ryes. That's going to do it for glassware. Let's move on to what we also need next. Next up, if you don't like sipping your whiskey neat, you're going to need ice. And I don't recommend using your traditional ice out of your ice maker in your fridge or going to the store and buying the crushed ice. I highly, highly recommend getting large ice molds at your local grocery store. Um, I bought both of these at Target. This guy right here, I believe was $7 for six um, inch and a half cubes. And then I bought this guy for $10 at Target for two inch spheres. And Spheres, by all means, are my absolute favorite, but if you don't like to make circular ice, this guy right here, the $6 or $7 square ice mold is definitely the way to go. Highly recommend getting large ice molds because it dilutes less, still chills very, very well, and it just makes for a better experience when sipping on your whiskey on the rocks. Let's move into part number three. So part number three, you're going to need a little bit of a bar set. So I bought this bar set with a spoon, strainer, and small and large cup for $14 on Amazon. And this makes a world of a difference when trying to shake up a bourbon or whiskey drink. By all means, you definitely need this. I also picked up a jigger. Um, this guy right here was $6. But this guy right here is hands down one of the most important things. You have a two ounce side and a one ounce side with lines on the inside to represent the quarter, half, and three quarter ounce. And then on this side, you also have the one and a half ounce pour on the large side. Makes a world of a difference when you're measuring out your drinks. And then I also recommend a stirring glass, something with a very, very sturdy, heavy bottom so that while you're stirring, it doesn't want to tip over easily. This guy was just a very heavy duty um, tall glass that really fits my uh, strainer very, very well. And that's what I got. This is uh, very important for your home bourbon bar. Let's move into the next part. 
All right, so next up, you're going to need mixers for your drinks to make your drinks. So there's two routes you can go with your mixers. You can get the store picks and the things that are sold in kits, like this guy and this guy were sold together with a Buffalo Trace. And then when I bought a bottle of Woodford Reserve, it came with some Woodford Reserve bitters and a Woodford Reserve rocks glass. So that's what you can get, something in a kit, or you can go ahead and buy Angostura bitters by themselves. They sell so many different flavors of bitters, but I personally enjoy their aromatic bitters. That's one of my absolute favorites, but another good one would be the black walnut bitters. And then for syrups, you can go ahead and make your own. This guy right here is a traditional two to one ratio, water to white sugar. And then this guy right here is your traditional two to one ratio, water to white sugar. But I added the cinnamon, the clove, and the star anise to give it that nice dark coloring and add a little more flavor to my cocktail. Last but not least, you're going to need the most important thing to your bourbon bar. Let's get into it. So when you have a bourbon bar, you definitely need bourbon, right? I'm going to recommend three bourbons that I think you guys should start off with for your bourbon bar. These are not gonna break the bank whatsoever. They're great neat, they're great on the ice, and they are also great in cocktails. Bourbon number one. Maker's Mark 46. This is a fantastic weeded bourbon that you guys absolutely need. I don't recommend the traditional Maker's Mark. That stuff, to me, I don't personally like. But with the finish and with the French oak staves, with this weeded bourbon and the Maker's Mark recipe that they have, this is fantastic, fantastic stuff. Neat. It's really, really good on the rocks, chilled, sipping on it on a hot summer day. Bourbon number two. Evan Williams bottled in bond, 100 proof bourbon. This stuff is really, really good neat, and I highly recommend mixing this stuff. With the 100 proof, it's not gonna dilute too much. Still gonna keep a lot of those vanilla and caramel flavors in your old fashions, your whiskey smashes, whatever you're making. This stuff right here is what I recommend to mix for that higher proof, and if you wanna jump into something for a higher proof to try it neat or on the rocks without a cocktail, this is a really, really good bourbon to not break the bank and see if you really like the higher proof without having too much burn. Bourbon number three. I've said it many times and I'll say it again, Buffalo Trace is one of my absolute go-to mixing and neat sipping bourbons. If you can find it like I usually do under $35, I recommend picking it up and putting it on your bourbon cart or bourbon shelf or wherever you keep your bourbons. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. It has those cherries, the vanillas, the caramels, the oak, the little bit of a char. I absolutely like the Buffalo Trace. This stuff right here, if you can find it over these two, I would pick it up. But if you can't find the Buffalo Trace, either one of these would be perfect to start your bourbon cart. I'm gonna show you guys what my bourbon cart looks like at the moment right now. So let's go right on into that and let's see what my bourbon cart looks like. So here's the bar cart fully stocked up, what it looks like. And then I do have some wine on it as well with some of my horsies and the bottom shelf stuff that I have here, my mixers and everything and other alcohols. But this is what my bar cart looks like at the moment. We will be having shelves put in and I will have a new setup and look in the future. But back to the video. So like I said, I will be getting the new shelves and the new setup here shortly. The shelves are on their way. Hopefully they get here within the week and I can build them, set it up and get the entire setup looking fantastic for the channel. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. These are the most important things, in my opinion, that you need to start your bourbon journey with your bourbon cart, bourbon shelf, wherever you're doing your bourbons. Super, super important to have all of these in ingredients and components, in my opinion. If you guys liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand spanking new for all of the Everyday Drinker videos that are coming soon. We are gonna be doing a new video set up here shortly. We're going to be doing three episodes a week 
The new episode is going to be a weekly series that I hope you guys are stoked for. I'm not gonna announce it right now. It will be announced when those videos go live. But I'm going to be either doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Friday, Sunday for my new upload. So guys, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.